A wise man once said, that's been one of my mantras, focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex. You have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. But it's worth it in the end because once you get there, you can move mountains. This was said by none other than Steve Jobs, co-founder and former CEO of Apple. And although he emphasized simplicity, it has not been the simplest of time for Apple lately. There has been a global chip shortage caused by companies like TSMC not being able to supply manufacturers like Apple with the chips they need for their cutting edge devices like the iPhone 13, new iPads, and new Apple Watches. However, complex problems usually have simple solutions, and this is no exception. By the end of this presentation, I will show you at least a temporary remedy that Apple can use to mitigate the stresses of the chip shortage. Hello, everyone. My name is Jose Pujol. I'm a computer science major at Florida International University and a devoted Apple user myself. And I'm here to put a Band-Aid on the chip shortage. So you're asking yourself, well, what is this plan? What can we do? And it's very simple. Apple already has an existing empire of over 1 billion iPhones worldwide. I hold the most popular version of them all, which is the iPhone 7, as you can see on the chart here on the right. And you will notice that there is a lot of older versions that are very popular around the world. And these are untapped sources of revenue for Apple. You see, Customers like myself are more than willing to pay Apple to enhance the performance of our phone, even if just a little bit, until we can get our hands on the newest products like the iPhone 13, which have been severely hindered as a result of this ongoing chip shortage. So you're asking yourself, that sounds great and all, but how would this refurbishment process be implemented? Well, the good thing is that Apple already has an existing ecosystem for this refurbishment process. It's called Apple Care Plus, as you can see right here. Users usually pay $10 to $13, depending on the phone they have, or a fixed fee of $200. And they have services such as replacing their battery and those sort of things. The problem with this currently is that Apple Care Plus is still very limited, and you can only get it 60 days after you purchase a phone. If at least temporarily until the chip shortage subsides, Apple can extend this to not have these limitations and be able to gain this revenue from older iPhones or just newer ones as well. This can net Apple upwards of $1 billion every single month in revenue, which would be net profit as this would have a zero to little initial cost for Apple. On top of all this, refurbishing phones would be much better for the environment and Apple is a company that deeply cares about staying green. I will leave you with this, another quote, this time by Albert Einstein. Everything should be as simple as possible, but no simpler. The smartest man to have ever lived knew that some of the most complex things usually have simple answers. Thank you very much. Have a great day.